Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So this is the look I came up with today and since it's a long video, grab your coffee, sit back and let's get started with hair. <laughs> So I have washed and conditioned my hair with my L'Oreal Color Protecting Shampoo and Conditioner and now to my towel dried hair, I'll be applying L'Oreal's Absolute Repair Serum. I just flip my hair upside down and start applying it from the back of my hair up to the ends and then just massaging and gently spreading it all over. Now I'm going to use these sponge rollers or curlers. It's just you need to wrap your hair around this and clip it back and done. I'm just combing through my hair so that the serum gets equally distributed and also to get rid of any tangles. Now I'm going to part my hair in three equal parts like from the arch of my eyebrow up to the nape of my neck and just spinning each section away just so that they don't get onto the other side. Now for the center section, I'm going to part my hair at the crown and pin it in place. And the same thing for the back section. And for the sides, I'm going to divide it into two equal sections and pin it respectively. I'm not a hair uh, tutorial person, so it's a bit difficult for me to explain this entire thing. But anyways, in total, I'm going to get six sections and these six sections, I'm going to further divide into two and roll, so total of 12 sections. I hope I'm not confusing y'all. I'm going to take some good water, I mean drinking water and start with my crown section, dividing it into two equal parts. Uh, then one of the section I'm going to comb through, then dipping my finger in water and running it along my hair till the ends. Again combing so that the hair gets equally dampened. Then taking my roller and I will start wrapping my hair around the sponge part of it and then rolling it down away from my face. I'm just gonna make sure I get all the hair into it and clip it back. Now I'll be doing the exact same thing to the front section. Now for the side section, I made it into one but later I opened those and made them into two sections. Uh, now the center back section, I'll be doing the same as top, dividing my hair into two parts, combing through it, dampening it and then wrapping around the roller away from my face. Okay, now let's do this in top speed mode and this particular way of curling gives me those amazing tight curls perfect for those retro waves without using hot tools or hairspray. I guarantee that. So as you can see, I have two more rollers left and I'll be opening the front section. You'll see those curls in just a little time. Oh my god. <laughs> well, dividing them into two and doing the exact same thing. Now you can go sleep with these curls or do your daily course, they won't budge or itch at all. And now it's time for makeup. And my curls stay as tight as ever but I'm just gonna wrap around a band just to keep away the flowers. And the situation is, I'm not sure what I'll be doing. <laughs> but anyways, we'll be starting by applying with my lip balm. And 
Then to prime my face, I'll be using my Maybelline Age Rewind Primer basically on my T-zone. And then I'm gonna move on to correcting my problem areas. Then I'm gonna apply my Lacme CC cream as a base, just like a thin moisturizing element. I'm actually going in with full coverage foundation today, so I do include this in that, so please don't judge me. Well, now it's time to change up to party songs because we need to get into the party mood, right? Okay, let's get back to makeup and I'll be applying my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Just spreading the product randomly all over my face and then blending and buffing that out for the flawless finish. And I hate when it gets on my lips like this. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> now I'm gonna start off with my eyes and the first thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. So just applying some brow wax, spreading and warming that all out with my finger. And then the usual filling in with my makeup store brow trio. Since it's a get ready with me video, I have included a part of it and if you're interested in knowing my entire ad routine from grooming, shaping and filling them, the link will be down in the description box. Starting with my eyes with this MAC Fluid Line Brassy Eyeliner as my base today and just gonna be applying this to my eyelid with a brush and then warming or spreading it with my finger. I actually did two coats of this, so you'll see it, yep. And then using this downfall eyeshadow from my Urban Decay Wise 3 palette into my crease area as my base transition. And I'm also warming my crease with the same. Then using a card like this, this one actually is of no use to me and then picking this Defi eyeshadow on a flat shader brush, placing my card from the outer V to the tail of my eyebrow as a guideline and will start applying this eyeshadow as a wing first, then dragging the eyeshadow inwards like the outer half of my eyelid and slightly into the very socket of my eye. Then picking this broke down eyeshadow also on a flat shader brush and applying on top of brassy eyeliner in patting motions and going back with the Defi eyeshadow and blending in between the two eyeshadows. And you're just going back with my blending brush just to make sure we have no harsh lines. Highlighting my brow bone with MAC Nylon Eyeshadow. And then applying my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NW35 just to camouflage my dark circles and around my mouth. Now it's time for some intense contouring and highlight and I'll be using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Flare Clear onto the center of my face that is bridge of my nose, around my mouth, chin, under the hollows of my cheekbones, under eye area and center of my forehead. Then using uh, this dark shade from my Kralon Supra Color Palette and applying this onto the hollows of my cheekbones, 
jawline, hairline and sides of my nose. And then using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to first blend out the highlight on my chin and around. Then switching on to another brush for my contour and I'm gonna keep switching my brushes until I achieve a well blended contour and highlight. Now I'm gonna do the cooking method and it's just applying some extra extra powder on the highlighted areas and then leaving it on for some time so that it gets uh, well set with the warmth of my face and meanwhile I'm gonna set my bronzer with my MAC matte bronzer. Now what happens is when I apply my bronzer the powder at the and help create a transition effect which is what we want I'm also going to do off my winged alana with black crack gel alana with an extended flick at the inner corners and also gonna tight line my upper and lower water line for that free line look. Now I'm gonna dust off all the excessive powder. And move on to blushing with my T1 blush by Kralon onto the apples of my cheeks. And also topping off my blush with MAC Mineralize in Global Glow. I'm gonna prep up my lashes for some fall seas and so applying lots and lots of mascara onto my top and bottom lashes. For my lashes today I'll be using these bold sexy spiky lashes. Just placing them on and applying some liquid alana to hide up the glue marks. For my lips I'm gonna apply MAC Rebel lipstick. You must have seen me doing this quite a lot of times. I just like to take my real and the fake lashes together in a curler and just go by curling them just to marry them both together. And now I'm gonna open up these curls and as you can see, I'm gonna get these really really tight curls which is what I want. After I'm done, I'm going to comb through my hair with my fingers and that's really crazy. But I'm going to comb it through with a paddle brush to get rid of any tangles. And then to get my hair, listen to me, I'm going to apply some serum all over. Now after that, I'm going to keep setting by combing and placing crocodile clips where I'm like satisfied 
Since my hair is dark, it's really not seen how lovely retro waves I got without heat or hairspray. And these legs stay all night long. In fact, the next day I had to wash my hair to get them back in their original form. You're just putting bobby pins to finally set that. And for the back section, I divided it into two parts and rolled them into a bun. And the other half I rolled and placed it on top of the first bun and also securing in place with some U pins. So this is the final hairstyle. Now just putting on my jewelry. And last but not the least, I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus to set my makeup. And with that, we are done. So this is the final result, my girls. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to give it a like, do comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.